So you finished the pilgrimage. Not bad. I don't know what happened out there. It's none of my business. But the inner circle approves of your initiation. As it should be. You did good in this trial. Now you'll have to find someone else to show you the next stage of the journey. Excellent. My initiation will be over soon. Good luck. Every step brings you closer to the master. Well, you really made it, didn't you? I've been hearing a lot about your progress, hearing about your trials. Your initiation has not been an easy one. But you've met the challenge and showed you can walk Revan's path. Now you may undergo the final rite. I appreciate the chance. The Master will complete your lessons, and you'll be welcomed as a full member of the Order of Revan. This is a great privilege. The Master reveals himself to no one outside the Order last. The respect I deserve. You may go to the master in his chamber. He'll be waiting for you. Listen to him. Obey him. Through the master, you will know the path of Revan. and been reborn. Stand before me now. You who have reclaimed the ancient past, stand before me now. You who have demonstrated power and wisdom to my followers, look upon the master of the Order of Revan. As you decree, my lord. This is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey. You will walk the path of Revan forevermore. The enemies of the Order will force you to move in shadows. But we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge is over. Know me for who I am. I thought the master was a man. The rule serves its purpose. Besides, it felt appropriate. Revan's own gender is unclear in many of our records. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council prizes. What makes the Order such a threat? Revan came to Drummond Cass after being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our Order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. You really think Revan replaced the Emperor? I do. It's the only way the puzzle pieces fit. I have heard whispers in the Citadel. For decades, the Emperor has been in seclusion. The Dark Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away, seizing power for themselves. They seek to silence us because we know. We shouldn't let them get away with this. We won't. It will take many years to free the Emperor, however. And first, I need your help on a different matter. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revanite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. Why would he believe me? I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnas. Give it to Sandor. He'll believe you stole it from his master while among the Revanites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, though, when you've spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. But I thought I was part of the Order. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path of Revan on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong.
vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Healthy customer is a spending customer. Watch yourself out there. Master of the lightsaber returns. He must have taken great willpower to leave the Revenite cultists alive long enough to investigate them. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? She's a Sith Lord, dark skin with black hair and tattoos. I know her. I know her. Yes. Tari Darkspanner. My master knows her. We will use her. The Dark Council will strip her of her power, her mind, and her life. Whatever you can do to her and her people, it isn't enough. Likely true, but I'm sure the punishment will suffice. I promised you a reward in the name of Darth Charnas, so you shall have it. You have served the Empire well. Thanks to you, we have the means to obliterate this society of heretics. The name of Revan will be spoken on Drummond Cast no more. How very unfortunate. Better to snuff out the plague than to let it spread. Leave me now. It is time to put Darth Charnas's plans into action.
destination. Enjoy your stay. business.
I'm here. Where is this invasion Captain Eisen was so sure was happening? It's happening, my lord. And how? Over the last three days, a series of transmissions left Drummond Kass and were received by ships orbiting a nearby asteroid. These transmissions contained safe landing coordinates for the planet's surface and security codes to bypass the orbital defenses. I've already heard most of this from Captain Eisen. The question is, who's behind the invasion? Of course. I just wanted to be thorough. Several hours ago, small shuttles built to avoid sensor detection began to land and deliver troops to the planet's surface. These troops are brutal alien mercenaries of the exiled Lord Titonus. Students of Sith politics will remember she was the rebel who declared her own kingdom on Bagheran. There's a very simple solution to this problem. Lots of blood. It seems a foregone conclusion. Lord Titonus has judged her timing perfectly. With so many of our forces off-planet, it is possible she could take Kaa's city if she lands her entire mercenary army. We must stop her shuttles from landing and beat back her forces. I've thrown every resource I have down there already. Now it's up to you. sense it, my lord? Something out there? I wish it were in my head, but I know it's real. Please excuse me. It's these long nights excavating relics near the Dark Temple. I'm Major Swain Lothar, Imperial Reclamation Service. My team uncovered several significant artifacts at a nearby dig. That's when things started going wrong. You reek of fear. I lead dig teams. That's all I'm trained for. First, it was strange noises from the temple, then figures lurking nearby. My team didn't like it, but I told them to push on. Now their day's overdue, and I owe a report to Lord Duan. But I can't go out there. I need someone to find them, make sure the artifacts make it. Nothing gets under my skin. Wish I could say the same for myself. My team's still in those caves. Whatever's happened, please bring those relics to Lord Duan. He's overseeing a small camp by the Dark Temple.